I've lost two bits, Jen, also known as Quirks and Stitches. Sorry it's been such a long time. Um, I didn't intend for that to happen, but life has gotten to be a bit crazy. Um, there's some exciting things on the works, and yeah, time just kind of ran away. So I took a little break. I, I kind of, um, the last I filmed was May, the end of May, when I got back from my mom's and had all of the amazing framing that she had done for me. Um, and I showed that off and, um, I had full intentions of being back and my stitching bug just kind of left in June. I, I was doing 365 days of cross stitch and was so focused on stitching every day that I don't know like June was really really tough and I I just I did it like I I would get something out and I would put an X at least in but it was becoming such a chore that I was just done like and there just wasn't motivation to do a whole lot so I was all ready to take a break to just say okay you know what I'm abandoning 365 days of cross stitch it just wasn't meant to be this year life is crazy um so I was I was gonna stop and I have figured okay I'll get all the way to June because then it's six months I had done you know every day stitching something uh sorry Watson is very restless right now so I am sure you can hear her she is moping up a storm because we took away the squeaky toy that she was intent on playing with right until or right up until I started filming and I've stopped and started a couple times so she's just moping a bit um she's here and also Pandy's been puking so I'm sure you might hear her at some point as well and it's not a peaceful night in the Lee household but <laughs> 365 days of cross stitch was all gung-ho ready to go June stopped it was done so I was like getting through last day of June gonna do it I woke up July 1st thinking I don't have to stitch today you know it's a thing I don't have to do it and it was like the only thing I wanted to do. So I don't know if it's just sometimes you make things into such a chore that it needs to not be an obligation in order for it to be fun again. Um, so I'm, I'm still tracking and I actually haven't missed a day now. So it's, you know, August and I'm still still going, but I, I'm not holding myself to it. I'm not going to like beat myself up if I don't stitch on a day. Um, so... It, it just it's funny though because it it really took the saying I don't have to do this today it's okay for it to be the thing that I really wanted to get up and do so um, I am still stitching uh, you can see there is one thing hanging that my mom framed uh, that's it <laughs> I showed you so many things that my mom framed for me and uh, and they are sitting in a pile on my desk in our office and are not hanging on my walls and it's you know a little sad but there's kind of a reason for it and it's kind of part of why I've been absent um, our life is about to take a major change and we're really excited it's been I think a long time coming um, but we are moving moving we're, we're done we're, we're leaving the Philly area it has been um, We've been here, we moved back from Virginia when, about a year after we got married, and not quite a year, six months after we got married. And my parents were here and, you know, it was it was home for me, so we said we'll settle down here and we ended up buying a house. And my parents were like, yeah, so we told you that when we retired we were going to Ohio and I bought a house. And so I... <laughs> Because I didn't really believe them that they were leaving. I don't know. We don't have any other family here, really. I mean, we have, like, you know, extended family. But no, nobody were really, like, is a support system to us. Um, Brandon's family's in Virginia. Um, and so it just, it seems right to, to say, to close this chapter. And um, we're going to Ohio. So it's... It's, we're really excited. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure those of you that have watched me on here can hear the way I talk about my mom. And um, my dad's there too. He just doesn't stitch, so you don't hear about him. We, we drink beer and play pool and watch horrible movies together. Um, but it, it's just been, 
I think there's been a lot of reasons why we haven't moved out. It's really been me holding us back, um, kind of wanting to see where my career would take me. Um, I think there's been a lot of not wanting to feel like I couldn't make it on my own. And I think I'm finally to the point where I, I can make it on my own. Like, I don't need my parents' help to, to get by. You know, we do fine. We have a house. We have our dogs. We have our, our dog and cats. You know, we have our family here. But it's just kind of gotten to the point where I don't want to be by myself out here anymore, you know? Um, and Brandon's great. He's just like, Where wherever you want to be, we'll go. Like, it's not never been him that's been holding me here um so we are october sometime we're not sure completely on dates yet but we are we are packing up the house and we are going to ohio so you'll see a lot more of my mom hopefully in the future um i'll have a stitching buddy uh for, for the time being the plan is that um the house they bought i think she knew eventually i would <laughs> give up the Philly dream and come out there with her. So the house they bought actually has an apartment downstairs um, that, you know, separate entrance. It's, I think, bigger than our house currently. Um, so it just makes sense to kind of close this, go there, settle there for a little bit until we figure out like where we actually want to be. Um, and, you know, not have to rush into to buying a house long distance. Um, you know, it's making it a little complicated because we kind of have to be like, okay, what things do we want to have with us when we're in the house, <laughs> like where we're living? And what things are we okay maybe having in storage for a year or so, you know, that we're not going to need? So, you know, life right now is packing. It is um, packing, cleaning, all of that. Um, we are moving the cats out this weekend. Um, I move, I'm going to be driving the, the two feline creatures out to, to Ohio uh, and, you know, just give us some time to be able to get their fur up from everywhere. Oh my God, fur everywhere. Um, and, you know, be able to do a little bit more without them here. Um, plus with the dog, like we didn't really know how we would do the drive because the cats will be okay in the car, but the dog with, yeah, no, that would be a mess. So um, I'm going to be making a trip out there. Um, I do have some exciting job things happening. Um, I did, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't filmed. I, I tell people what's going on in my life, so it felt wrong to not share this with you guys. And I was like, I'm just going to slip up. Like, I know I will, and then it'll be on the internet. And I need to tell work first. Um, so I have given notice at my job, um, which is, you know, I have been working with kids my entire life. Like, you know, I graduated from college, started teaching, um, you know, took a little time off to nanny, then got into early childhood, and now I'm directing, and I, I'm ready for a break. Like, I love, I love kids, um, but it's just, it's time to kind of move on to something else. So I'm doing something completely different. I'm really excited, but I'll share more about that once it all kind of gets settled. So, um, that is what is going on in my life. Um, we are trying to take as much advantage of the Philadelphia area before we go. Um, cause we realize, you know, we're not going to have the same things kind of in the middle of Ohio. Well, Northwestern Ohio. So we're moving close to Sandusky and Cedar Point. Um, it's Northwestern. I don't really know much about the geography of Ohio. Honestly, I don't really know much about the geography of Pennsylvania, and I've lived here almost my whole life. So, um, you know, nothing new there. But uh, <laughs> there are weird shadows as well. I'm sorry. My nose thing is like... Sorry. I also have my wine because I drank beer earlier, but I switched to wine when I got home. So I'm justifying it now because it's going to be easier to just transport my wine racks empty no bottles on them so i'm just you know gonna take the sacrifice and <laughs> drink it while i'm here um and my mom's stocking her house for one of them so it works uh but anyway okay cross stitch so i have still been stitching it's not hanging on my walls pam of that woolly woolly mitts i think it was i i pulled up your comment on my last woolly girl pam i am so sorry i am I am so intimidated by post offices and 
<laughs> I have no idea why. But I have your, your thing that I'm going to send to you. It's not fall yet, so I, I think I still have time. I'm really, really sorry, though. Um, it is in my pile of stuff that is framed that is sitting on my desk. I know exactly where it is. It hasn't gotten lost in the shuffle. And my plan is I'm actually going to take it to Ohio with me and have my mom help me mail it because I post offices just don't do it. Although I am playing Pokemon Go like all the time now, and I think most post offices are like things with not really paying Pokemon Go. I mean, I am, but I don't know what I'm doing. But I think they're all the places I could go and spin. So that might, like, get me through my intimidation. Probably not. I'm probably going to take it to Ohio with me, and I will mail it from there. Um, so when I take the cats out, um, I don't have a very big car. Like, I drive a little little hatchbacky thing so i'm not going to be able to fit a whole lot of stuff and we're trying to make the most of every every trip that we're going to be out there so we the plan is the cats in the back and then cross stitch stuff stuff that i'm not going to want to transport in a moving truck so i'm packing up all my frames that are not currently on the wall and taking up not taking up space and I think I'm going to take like my master set of DMC and all my fabric and stuff like that because honestly I have enough projects kitted up that I'm working on right now to keep me busy for I mean probably until I die but um you know they, they'll keep me busy at least until October because <clears throat> I really probably should be stopping the 365 days of cross stitch now and like focusing on packing a house and moving but I'm you know still stitching and trying I think I think the reason I'm like stitching more and like playing Pokemon is I I do these things to get me myself distracted from what I, I really should be doing don't tell my mom sorry mom I will pack promise eventually you'll come out and help me too which will be really good I'm still not a grown up it's okay though I'm moving home with my mom and dad so it works Thanks, Mom and Dad. Um, so, I have been... I Honestly, I should have watched my last video back because I don't remember what I talked about. I mean, I know I showed all my framing stuff, um, but I don't remember, like, what I really had been working on. I wanted to show you guys this. So, I got this calendar book. Ooh, that's a lot of player. It's pineapples. Pineapples really aren't my thing. But I, um, I got it at, like, Home Goods, and it just has, like, all the months from 2018 in 20 or July of 2018 and then through 2019 so what I'm doing is each day I have July all filled I'm just writing down a track kind of of what I stitched that day so I have kind of a record um, I would love to be one of those people that takes a picture like a progress picture every day but because I don't stitch with a frame or a scroll or a hoop or any of those my stuff is so wrinkled that it's it's hard. I, I don't think it photographs as well. And honestly, like, I'll take a picture and then I'll put it down and then I'll be like, oh, no, I'm not done stitching yet. And I'll pick it back up and do like another strand of floss or something. So I, I'm not, and then I was trying to do a picture in the morning before I started because I was like, well, I can just stitch, you know, show where I was, but I keep forgetting. So I don't. So this is how I keep track of it. And I do have like all the other months in my work planner that I think is in my car. So I don't have that here. Um, but I just, I list the finishes that I have for the month on the side. So you can see them there. And then I have, this one's throwing me off a little bit because I try to track all of my stuff like by what year I stitched it on. And because this calendar is a combo 2018-2019, I feel a little weird because... I would rather have a 2018 and, and then a separate 2019, but I couldn't find a 2018 solo calendar. So I, I get that. Let's be honest. I could find a 2018 solo calendar, but I couldn't find one that had the right consistency of paper because I am a paper snob. Um, so it had to feel right when I was writing in it. And so I have bought a couple that just didn't. And they've gone in the trash because I, well, no, they, they're in a pile to go in the trash because they... I don't want to throw them away because I feel like there should be something that they could be used for, but I'm purging now, so they are going to be in the trash. Animals are really restless right now. The scary cat is at my feet. Um, but in the back of it, what I have too is I have all of my works of this mirrored thing. I had gotten used to it and I'm not again. 
So I have all of my works of progress listed and you can kind of see on the side I have a little like square and I'm if it's an open square it's a work in progress if it has a line through it I have worked on it since 29 20 July 2018 to December 2019 and if it has is fill if it has an X then that means I finished it and if it has is all like colored in it means I've abandoned it because honestly there are a couple and this is all of my works in progress I didn't count them I don't know how many there are but there are a lot probably way too many like guys why do we do this I'm glad I'm not the only one. Really, like, it's nice to know that you guys do it, too. I used to be a fairly monogamous stitcher. Well, we just had some technical difficulties. That's never happened before, so Brandon's going to have to figure out how to, like, splice these two together. Sorry. Glad I noticed. I was, like, all of a sudden. I try not to look at myself on the screen, and then when I don't, it freezes. So I guess I should just be narcissistic and look at myself um anyway so all of these works in progress and some of them like I, i'm never there's this this joy noel one that was one of the first ones i started when i got back into to cross stitch and i, I wasted this huge piece of linen because it really was a big one and it was like one that it's still on my list i don't know that i'll ever finish it because i just it's not really my style anymore so I probably should just abandon it, but I haven't yet. Um, so I keep track of them here and then I log like how I'm working on them. And then I also have a list of all the ones that I have finished since 2018. And I figured I would put 2019 over here or here. I don't know. Um, depends on how much more I get finished in 2018. Uh, so far I've got 19 finishes. I'm not it's not too shabby like I'm pretty pretty proud of that um I also went through and I started um hashtagging them on Instagram so I have like a hashtag for quirks and stitches um 2018 finishes quirks and stitches 2017 finishes I really like to have things dated and I really like to go back and try to figure out the dates for the things that I didn't date when I should have been dating them I like to like I can't just start a project halfway I have to like go back and pretend I had been doing it all along like so there's this an app called untapped where you log beers that you drink and I like it because it, it reminds me we're I'm a flight drinker so I like to, to log all the different ones and tastes and I can see like what kind of beers that I really like and so the first time I opened it I went and I was logging every beer that I've ever remember having but it's not like that so you have to start like right then so at first it looked like I was like crazy lush because I was like oh yeah I've had all 50 of these <laughs> kinds of beers but I have I just didn't log them then so I have a hard time starting midway with things I should just start midway and not try to like recreate things as I go um, but anyway stitching I'd like to show some um, I have been trying to kind of go through my starts and see what I can maybe finish before the year's up so I'm not pulling out my really really big stuff um, trying to keep that away and, and I think that's probably a terrible plan because I'm gonna finish all of these little things and then only be left with really big projects and probably just start new little things not that my little things are like really little things but I don't know. Also, thank you, Pam and Steph. You guys have been incredible this past week. Thanks for finding me. Thanks for like inspiring me. I, I thanked you at the beginning of one of the filmings I had, but something happened, probably Pandy throwing up or something and I had to stop. So thank you um, for all the shout outs, all the, the, yeah, just getting me back into this. I like watching you guys and I'm excited to come live in the state you live in. Maybe I can come visit. So, um, Stitching. I have done some. I don't remember again what I did in June. I think I worked on this piece, which is, um, I think, When Skeletons Dance, and it's by The Drawn Thread. Um, when I started this, this was one of my Stitch Madness pieces that I started, and I love it. It's on like a... Let me get my list, because I don't remember what I'm stitching. Oh, hold on. This is why I write things down, because my mind is 
pretty terrible. Um, when it's on a 40 count exemplar, um, and I'm just using, am I using DMC? No, I think I'm using specialty. I don't, I think I'm using specialty threads for this. Um, it's fun to stitch. I was having so much fun with the house and then I screwed it up. So that's why I stopped on this one. And you can see like how frustrated I was. Cause like, I still have thread there. Cause I just was like, nope, done. Made a mistake putting it away. Um, this is probably one of the things that I was like, okay, just get a couple stitches on, you know, have some progress until you're done there through 65 days or year, half a year. I can't do that math right now, six months. What's half of 365? It's too hard. There's been too much work. So I worked on that one some. I got a lot done since I had started it for Stitch Madness. Um, I also pulled this one out, which is Map of Hawk Run Hollow. I am a huge Hawk Run Hollow fan. Um, this is on a 32 count, so it's going to be massive. Um, you know, it's going to go all the way over. But I, I try to have something from Hawk Run Hollow in my rotation at all times. I have the fabric to do a year at Hawk Run. Um, but I'm going to do that. And I think I've said it before. I'm going to do that one individual pieces. Um, and then just buy a frame that I can have like January's up and February's up. And then I don't have to do December. Is it December? That's full coverage. Because I can just buy a dark piece of linen. That's my plan. Um, so Map of Hawk Run Hollow. I'm loving it. It's just, it's huge. And um, I'm just using the called for DMC. I don't love the fabric. It's like a, it's a 32 count, I think just country mocha. I'm looking. No, it's not. It's a light mocha. And I don't know who it's by. Uh, it was a piece I just had probably from my mom's stash of, and I commandeered it. But I'm going to be living in her basement so I get to commandeer all of her stuff. It's bad. I mean, it's really good for me because she has a huge stash. she shares supplies me um the one i am working on now which i am loving like i i'm really really loving this this is um oh halloween by blackbird designs and i've had this i've had it kitted up for forever um and had the piece of linen it's a 32 count confederate gray by weeks um and i started during stitch madness that um the chalkboard series the march hands-on designs um does and it's on weeks and it's the first stuff i'd ever done done and i hated it. it it just i don't like the feel of the linen at all and i knew i had this piece of linen in my stash and was like cut specifically for this piece and i was so worried i was i was really concerned but this just is coming together so nicely and i am using specialty threads i am not doing individual stitches unless i feel like it helps with like the process so like I'm doing individual stitches for the vine here but I did not as I filled in the bird and I think it gives it enough of a variegated look I don't think it needed um more uh it's really long I <laughs> went and did the outline of the pumpkin because I was really nervous I wasn't going to have a long enough piece because I don't know it just kept growing um the only non-specialty thread that I'm doing is this brown and it will be what the border is too I I think it calls for like espresso bean or something and they didn't have it when I had ordered my stuff from one two three and I was like you know I don't think it's gonna matter if that one doesn't have a whole lot of irrigation so I'm just gonna go ahead and use DMC so but the rest is all specialty floss that is called for and I'm loving it like I really I really do and it's it's a bigger one than I had thought so I don't think that one's gonna be one that I'm gonna just keep stitching on until I finish um, but that's where I've been putting a lot of my time in right now. Um, and that's, I think like when I looked back through July and, and August, that's pretty much all I've stitched. I have put like a couple stitches into a ghoul tide welcome, but I didn't pull it out cause it's a big piece and I just, it wasn't enough of progress that I felt like it was worth showing it off again. Um, also I keep a Quaker Fox by the work basket up in my bedroom. 
And like, there's been a couple nights that I've gone up at like 10.30 and been like, oh, I didn't stitch today. So I'll pull that one out and do a little bit up there. Um, but I predominantly stitch downstairs. So I, I don't, I don't love not having my spot and like my jar for my threads that I cut and my or jar and stuff. So I pretty much just stitch in my stitchy chair. I have to make a stitchy spot at my mom's house. I'm gonna have to have one up in her her section of the house and one in my house. So I'm gonna have to have two or jars. I've already decided that's how it's gonna be. And she's gonna have to be okay with it sitting out on her. Or give me a drawer to put it in. I think she'll be okay with it. Um, so I did have a couple finishes though since I've last filmed I think um I know that this one I don't think I showed it in my last video I, I finished it like right when I got home from my mom's house because it was like oh I missed her framing it um but it's a different sort of finishing so this is Salem Stitcherhood and it's by the Primitive Hair and I had gotten this um out in Ohio and it was part of the um got it at the craft gallery and hi, I heard that Carlton had a stroke and I'm really, I'm praying for you guys and hope that he's doing okay. And I'm going to be out next week. I don't know if we'll get out to the store or not, but if we do, um, I'll, I'll stop in and see you guys and hope, I hope he's doing okay. Um, so much love and prayers to you guys. But this, that's where I purchased this was Craft Gallery in Finley, Ohio. And it was a kit from Market. And so you can see on the on the cover it's it's got a, like an interesting way of framing it and it it came with the stuff so I will um, I think it has the board I was really surprised I could find this because my craft room is a disaster because I'm like what can I live without for the next month and a half it has the board and like some of the embellishments so um, I'll take this out with me and my mom will help me finish that um, I am really excited like I feel like she'll be able to teach me more in a more um, consistent see and like supervise me as I try to like iron so I won't be so scared to do that all the time um, but that was I think my first finish since I got back and then I finished this is why my little lists are handy because I almost showed you the one I finished after I finished Oh Christmas Tree and this was by Ooh. I cannot I'm spacing out it is by all through the night and I did this on a 36 count pair and I used I think garden gate was the thread I, I ended up going with um, so I just I, I customized it I did do this one every individual stitch and I think it gives it like a nice subtle variegation nothing like too crazy um I don't like drastic model that kind of stuff so it just is, is subtle um but I'm really happy with how that turned out and I'm stitching I'm using this fabric to do the prairie moon second abc one uh red and black red and black too mine I my head is everywhere, but not on things it should be on. Can't keep anything in it. Um, so I feel like I really lost my, like, when the computer froze. Sorry. Um, this one I also finished, and it is um, Birds of a Feather, the Alphabet Sampler. And I did this. This is 36. This is the country mocha that I was thinking of. Um, and it's it's like a breeze to stitch on it's really a nice fabric um oh Brandon something just happened in his video game I don't know if you heard him he's usually very quiet um when I'm filming <laughs> let's clarify that he does speak other times um but this one I I loved and so the and I apologize for my nail polish because it's I don't usually put polish on and it lasted about a day um, this color of this flower, and you can see it's even pretty subtle with where it was. The color that was called for in the pattern was too close to the fabric. So I subbed it out. Um, I don't really do that very well. I'm not, I don't have the eye for matching like color families and things like that. So I, I tend to be pretty consistent with what they call for. 
I had this color sitting next to me, <laughs> laziness one. And I was like, ah, that looks okay. Okay, I'll do that. So I think it was 731. I might totally be making that up because if 731 is not a color that is light, maybe bluish, don't. It's not that then. Um, but it was something that was sitting right next to me and I pulled it out. And it works. I think it, it gives, it's a little, my lighting in here is pretty terrible tonight, but you can see it more. Um, and I, I did my initials and the year that I stitched it. I like alphabets. And my biggest finish that finally I finished. This was not a Stitch Madness piece. This is Elizabeth by Carriage House. I love this series. And thanks to Cindy and um, uh, finding it in other craft, I have the whole series of all the girls. So I don't know which one I'll do next. I did this on a 32 count lamb's wool um, and I used the DMC colors. Um, I struggled a bit because I fell in love with the picture of it on the pattern and the colors are not at all what the DMC calls for. The birds have like a blue in them and um, the colors in the dress, the the gold with the uh, yellow outline, it pops so much more in the colors. And so I didn't know if it was just because they use silks and I use DMC or not, but I really do like it muted. Um, I And I they look just like robins. And so I did do, I did one of the eggs blue, but the rest I kept white. Um, and this one, this one did feel like a chore. There, it, there is a lot of coverage in this. Um, so I was like, it doesn't sound like it was that big of a piece based on the dimensions. Um, but a lot of it is filled in. And so I just, I powered through this one. And I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I do have the fabric. I don't love lamb's wool. Um, I want to love lamb's wool and it's just so tough. So when I stitch, because I stitch in hand, I roll. Um, so I'll have it like this in my hand to work closer to this edge. So this edge in here got nice and kind of easy to, to work with. It didn't have that stiff feel. Um, this side, however, did. And so I don't know if maybe I iron it first or I, I don't know what would roll it into a ball and crinkle it a lot. I don't know what would help lambs will be easier for me to work with or enjoy it more. Um, but I like how it looks when it's finished. So, and I think with the girls, I think I want them all to be pretty uniform and the same. So I'll probably, I'll probably suck it up and do them on as well too, because I have it or my mom has it somewhere. It's somewhere. Um, so that's what I've stitched. I, again, I, life has been insane and I'm hoping that it calms down. We're trying to take advantage of Philadelphia life while we're here. Um, like I said, things are kind of, no, no set dates right now, but we're figuring October, um, and we're really excited. And I'll, I'll fill you in more about what I'm going to be doing and things like that as it gets closer. Um, just know I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun. Um, so I, I do have, I struggled. I like to finish these with something that I have stitched in the past. Oh, this is really dusty. Um, I like to finish these with things that I've stitched in the past. I don't have a whole lot hanging up that I haven't showed you. And I, aside from like pulling out my tubs of Halloween and Christmas, I, I didn't have much going, but I realized on my time hop eight years ago today, I finished this piece. Um, and it is, it is <laughs> note to my nerd dumb. Um, but it is, and it's black line, which I don't do a whole lot of it's on Ada, but it is all the birds are singing that you're going to die. And it's a quote from a song in Dr. Horrible's sing along blog. Um, which was one of the movies that Brandon and I were like obsessed with when we first got married. So when I first started stitching, I was doing a lot of um, video game stuff for him. It's what really got me back into stitching was 8-bit and things like that. So I found this pattern and I tweaked it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's all just single black line um, DMC on Ada. And I love it. It's hanging in my house all the time. And occasionally you'll have somebody walk by and be like, wait, what does that say? <laughs> like, all the birds are singing that you're going to die. I love it. It's a great song. It's a great little video if you haven't seen it. Um, I recommend. It's not very long. Joss Whedon. It's good stuff. Um, anyway, 
Thanks for welcoming me back into FlossTube. I'm looking forward to settling down and watching some more of you guys, seeing what you guys are stitching. The three things sampler that everybody's doing right now, I love. Um, it's right up my alley, and I think that might be on my wish list next. I do have a bunch of stash, too, that I think I haven't gotten anything new since I got back from my mom's, but I don't think I ever showed it to you. Um, like I said, the plan this weekend is I'm going to be packing up my cats and packing up, like, my stitching. So, uh, you know, I don't, it's just, October feels really far away, but I think it's going to come in an instant. So trying to make the most of every moment that we have and excited for what's to come. Um, I never, ever, ever know how to finish these things and it's been too long. So I'm totally out of practice. So keep stitching, have fun. Um, I am open for questions, comments, whatever you guys need. I am here. Um, Pam, I will be mailing that. I promise. Um, might throw in some little other trinkets that I find too. So thanks for all your encouragement and everything that you guys are doing. Um, keep stitching.